what are some things that has changed your life, changed your perspective on things? The price of war is, is a man, or, or millions of men and women, that relive those, those horrors every single day of their life. Every day. Like, I, I always felt like I gave up a piece of my soul. That's what I put it when we deployed. Like, you come home different, yeah, like mentally, physically, whatever, but I felt like a piece of my soul was gone. That was a clip from the documentary Project 22, a medicinal missions film made by combat veterans to raise awareness of the high rate of suicide among veterans. Joining us now, co-founder of Medicinal Missions and co-director of Project 22, Doc King. Very good to have you on the show. Thanks for Again, how is this going? I know the movie's being seen in New York uh, I I this summer, and... Um, the point here is for this to be seen by veterans, correct? Exactly. Tell us why. Um, well, we really think that this will provide veterans with not only a bunch of knowledge that we don't get uh, when we transition out of the military necessarily regarding our challenges, um, but also inspiring veterans to seek a path of healing and reach around them and, and start bringing the community up together. Project 22, the meaning of the name, 22 a day, right? Yeah, it's from a 2013 study um, by the VA that showed that approximately 22 veterans are committing suicide every single day. Um. And you put this together with another veteran, and you guys served yourselves. Um, obviously, that's part of the inspiration behind it. What, what led to this project becoming so big? Um, I, I think it was... What's the personal side of it? it? Yeah, it was our, our personal stories, and... and um Really, that was the inspiration to make the film because we realized that we couldn't be the only ones out there that were dealing with this. And we were fortunate enough, Daniel Egbert is my co-director, um, we were fortunate to have each other and, and sort of make it through. So we wanted to reach out and, you know, bring that to other veterans as well. Mike Barnacle. Could you talk a little bit about, and I'm sure the film probably addresses this as one, in one manner or another, but in a country where there is no draft, where just about maybe fewer than 1% of us serve in either Iraq or Afghanistan or serve in the Army or Marine Corps at all, the isolation of a veteran and especially the isolation of a combat veteran and conversations with other combat veterans sometimes hard to come by and what this film addresses. Yeah, isolation is one of the most devastating things for anybody, especially a combat veteran, as you say. Um, and there's many reasons for it. I think it's individual, but on a, on a, on a general scale, you don't want to, uh, as one of the doctors that we interviewed put it, you don't want to soil the family area with the stuff that you bring home. Um, and you don't realize that you can actually talk about it and make it in, into a story that can be understood and honored and a part of your, ham your family's tradition and heritage. Um, but instead, you, tr you choose to keep it away from them to protect them. But in, what you're doing is you're isolating and you're not able to receive that support that you need and that understanding from those who love you most. We're watching pictures of the motorcycle ride. Explain to us more just about the nature of the ride, when it happened and what it involved. Uh, well, we started in San Francisco at a wounded veteran sailing clinic uh, on September 22nd, 2013. Um, and then we rode 6,500 miles, 22 days across the country. And we, did, I think it was 30 something interviews that we were able to mm -hmm. conduct with veterans, researchers, uh, providers, um, and specifically just searching for forms of hope. Um, the film is Project 22. And for more information about Project 22, request a screening of the film for your local theater. Visit medicinalmissions.com. That's medicinalmissions.com. Doc King, thank you so much for coming back. This is incredible. And I hope uh, as many veterans and their families as possible get a chance to see this.